Hey guys, in this video we have a work from home job that you can get at a lot of different countries around the world and it allows you to use Google Maps and get paid as much as $41 an hour estimated by Glassdoor and it's at a company called TELUS International which is a great place to find all sorts of international jobs around the world especially if you want something part time that you can do outside of your regular job. When you want to look for these you can go to the AI community section here and when you go here what you want to look for is a data analyst position so if you see something like a data analyst position you see right here there are many different ones available so when you actually search for this position you'll notice that they have these in Ireland New Zealand Denmark Thailand Canada Australia Japan France United Kingdom uh, United States of America and they have three different pages of these right now so hiring all around the world it's a freelance position which gives you a lot of freedom as well and these are of course fully remote they don't require you to make any phone calls they don't require you to have experience or anything like that and this is a company that is known for having other part-time jobs as well that allow you to work from home with a very flexible schedule and also make your own hours so if you want something flexible you can check out their other jobs as well but right now they have all sorts of jobs that let you help improve AI data and also improve online map services like Google Maps. So for this one, there is no fixed schedule as they tell you right there. They're hiring freelance. Now it says English speaking. Again, they have these all around the world. So you could probably find some in your native language and your country as well. So I'm just using the US one as an example. So if you see something about the US or English or something like that, that doesn't mean that's the only one you can do. I'm just using this as an example. So these are basically aimed at improving the content and quality of digital maps which are used by millions of users every day globally the job would suit someone who is detail oriented likes doing research and has a good knowledge of national and local geography this is a freelance position on a flexible schedule you can work in your own time whenever work is available you will be completing research and evaluation tasks in a web-based environment verifying and comparing data determining the relevance and accuracy of information you'll be provided with guidelines for each task which need to be followed the project offers a variety of tasks and work is paid per task so requirements full professional proficiency proficiency in whatever language you apply in again i'm just using the english one as an example you must live in whatever country you apply in for the last two consecutive years the ability to follow guidelines and do research online using search engines online maps and website information you must have familiarity with current and historical business, media, sport, news, social media, and cultural affairs in your country, and being open to work across a diverse set of task types, so maps, news, audio, task relevance, etc. And you must be at least 18 years of age or older. That also may vary depending on your country, but for the most part, it'll probably be around that number. We're working on this project will require you to go through a standard recruitment process, including passing an open book assessment, this is a long-term project and your work will occasionally be subject to quality assurance checks. Now they say a, a standard recruitment process, but typically you do not have to interview at TELUS International. They just have you pass a test and you are given the study material for these tests in many cases. So when they say a standard recruitment process, that usually does not include an interview. So also when you join here, you can earn extra income, access their community well-being initiative, you have remote work, location independence, you can make the hours fit your current lifestyle. So if you have a full-time job, you can make the hours work around that and you get to be part of an online community. So other than that, again, you want to be a detail-oriented person who likes to do research and has good knowledge of national and local geography for your country. So you can apply here and then they'll have you kind of sign up and go through the process of filling a profile out and then you'll probably have the study material given to you and then you can take the test and if you pass you can start doing work. Now I don't know entirely how accurate this is but usually Glassdoor is pretty good with estimates for the most part on jobs because it uses estimates and an average of what people who did this job actually 
say that they made. So this is from a select amount of people who disclosed how much they made. It says 38 to $59 per hour total pay and base 33 to 51 an hour. I think it'll be closer to the base. I don't think you're gonna get a lot of additional pay because there's no benefits, there's no real commissions, I don't think. So the base pay would be around $41 per hour on average. So that's how I came up with that number. I'm using estimates from people who literally did this job. So if you wanna know how many people actually did this, you can scroll down here and look for the name of this job. Another thing you wanna do is make sure it's on hourly pay periods because this is something you do part-time. This is not a full-time job where you really need a yearly estimate. It's going to vary per person, how much you make in a year. So what we're looking for is a data analyst. And you see right here, 16 salaries have been submitted. And so based on 16 people, you have an average of $41 per hour for a base pay. Now again, you don't know how many hours you're gonna get on a consistent basis, but it's something you can do part-time. Review-wise for the company, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating and 72% recommend working here to a friend. So you have pretty good ratings for the company as a whole. And if you think that um, you're getting benefits, I really don't think you will because you're doing this part-time as a freelancer. So I'm gonna skip that section there. We've already been over salary. So the next process to look at is, what is it like to apply here? It says interview, but a lot of these companies, you don't have to interview. And this is actually a great section on Glassdoor where you can verify whether or not something does require an interview because people will tell you what they had to go through to apply. Now, for this particular job, you see, job, you see a data analyst right here seven people have applied for a data analyst position and they had a 2.9 difficulty rating here 100 percent of them also applied online basically you also had a base complete an online assessment assessment does not have a time frame and it is open book you must reach 80 percent accuracy in the assessment after the assessment will not be long before you receive offers this one also said once you fill out the application they will send you a test to see if your skills align the test is comprised of examples of work that you would be doing. There's no formal interview required. So as far as that goes, it looks like the amount of time it takes varies per person. I've seen some people that got rejected and they said it took a long time, but the people that said they got accepted, it did not take as long. So none of them say that you have to take an interview really. Um, they mostly say that you're just going to take some sort of test. So that's kind of something you can verify on this page as well. Again, there are gonna be some on here that say, you know, oh, this is terrible and all this stuff, but every job has something like that. There's always, the people who don't get the job usually say a lot of negative things. The people that do get the job will usually be a little more straightforward as far as the actual process. But um, as far as the overall difficulty is not too bad on average. And it could be something, again, you could do on the side. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more work from home opportunities like these, and I'll see you in the next video.